What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about how love bombing from a narcissist just doesn't happen at the beginning of a relationship. It can happen in the middle as well. It can happen near the end as well. Stay tuned for more, like and subscribe for more. Mental Illness is out, peace. So this is true right here because love bombing from a narcissist doesn't just happen at the beginning of a relationship. Sometimes when you try to leave a narcissist that's not ready for you to leave, they will love bomb you again. It might not be as intense as the initial love bomb at the beginning. It might be like a little love pop instead of a love bomb, but it's still going to be them doing grandiose gestures to try to get you to stay with them. They'll try to turn back into the person they were in the beginning of the relationship and start doing the things that you want them to do again. But here's the kicker right here, y'all. They'll start doing the things that you want them to do without you having to ask them to do them. You literally won't have to tell them what makes you happy because they'll start doing what makes you happy without you telling them. And that just shows you that they know how to make you happy. They're just intentionally not doing it because narcissistic people know what it takes to make you happy. They just do. They're not doing it on purpose because they think if they give you everything that you're going to leave them. If I give you everything that I have, you would just take it and leave me for somebody else. Watch out for the love bombs. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So if you couldn't read the words on the screen, it says, until you say you're done with them, they can turn that love bomb right back on. Happened to me, didn't help. Yes, so a lot of people, um, like when a narcissist tells you to leave, sometimes narcissists and toxic people just say, hey, get out, just leave. They don't expect you to leave. They expect you to stay. A lot of times they expect you to stay and just apologize and beg them for forgiveness or whatever. But if you decide to leave and they're not ready for you to leave, guess what? They're gonna turn on the charm. Here comes a re-love bomb, a little love pop. They'll start to give you everything that you wanted and needed. Everything you've been asking them for, they'll give it to you. And here, like I said, like I said in my video, y'all, here's the kicker. They do that without you asking. They do the thing that you've always been asking them to do. They do it without you asking them to do it, which shows you they knew how to make you happy all along. They were just withholding it from you. And they just tell I'm telling people all the time, like narcissists know how to make you happy. They just choose not to because like me personally as a narcissist, and a lot of narcissists can attest to this, that we have abandonment issues. We think you're gonna leave us. So if we give you everything that you need and ask for, you won't need us anymore. What do you need us for anymore? You can get it from somebody else, but you want it from me. I can with, if you want it from me specifically, I can withhold it from you and it keeps you with me longer. I know how to make you happy. I did, I did it in the beginning for however long the, the first mask was on. There's multiple masks in relation with a narcissist. However long that first mask was on, I could do it for that long. I know I can do it for that long. I knew how to make you happy then, which also means I know how to make you happy now. I'm just choosing not to do it because, yeah, self-serving ego first. I'm, self, I'm serving myself first. But now I'm, ser I'm also serving myself by love bombing you again because I'm serving myself by keeping you here because I don't want you to leave just yet. So yes, it's still egotistical. It's still self-serving to love bomb you. I don't think people understand that. It's still self-serving to me to love bomb you because I'm not ready for you to leave. You know what I mean? So I'm still serving my, it seems like I'm doing things for you, but I'm still at the core doing things for myself because I don't want you to leave. You see what I'm saying? Like my life, like if you leave, my life as I know it would turn upside down, you know? I would lose finance, I guess financial. I would lose the, I would lose you and I would, I would set you free to go be with somebody else. You see how that works? So a lot of times if you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, that's how it goes. That's the part of it right there. If you're dealing, you'll be dealing with them and they'll just turn it off, they'll flip the switch on you and then they'll go crazy. And I tell people all the time, if you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, it's just like, if they tell you to leave and you don't leave, in their minds, in the narcissist's minds, you're saying that you're okay with everything that has gone on before. It's clean slate. You mean, like I said, anytime that you try to leave a narcissist and they're not ready for you to leave, they can love bomb you again. It's just not one big love bomb in the beginning. They can do it again and again and again and again. But if you learn about narcissism, you learn about narcissistic personality disorder or toxic traits and toxic behaviors, you understand that it's not real. This is just to keep you here. And people fall for it. People just, they choose it. People, they, they know it. This person know it. You know, they know it's, they know it's a fake love bomb, but they just choose to stay through it anyway because it makes them feel good about themselves. It just does. That love bomb in the beginning makes them feel good about themselves. I mean, that love bomb in the, begin in the middle makes them feel good about themselves. And guess what? It flashes that potential. That the flash, the potential from the beginning flashes back again. You mean? It, it does. You mean? 
that the potential that you experienced in the beginning of the relationship with the narcissist, that love bombing potential that kept that, that made you fall for this person, it flashes again. So that potential that you know is there for them to treat you good, it flashes again and it keeps you here in a toxic relationship. It just does. It keeps you here in this toxic situation, in this toxic relationship, because you see it. You know it. Like, oh, I know you, I know you have the ability to treat me good because you just did it. I see it now. I feel it now. I hear it now. You know what I mean? So when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, understand like they're going to flash potential. It's not really a it's a love bomb. It's a little mini love bomb because it's not like the love bombs in the middle and the near the end of the relationship. You know, are not going to be as grand or as massive as the love bombing in the beginning. Typically, the love bombing is begin in the beginning is going to be like a an atom bomb. It's going to be an atomic atomic bomb that goes off, boom, mushroom cloud, explosion of love and cheat clapping or whatever. You make trips, money, whatever they got to offer you, they're going to give it to you up front. You know, the love bombs in the middle and the end, just like you know, little sticks of dynamite, little TNT. You know, they still they still come with a bang, but it's not as big as that mushroom cloud. You know what I mean? It's not as big as the mushroom cloud and things like that. So you have to look, look at it from that angle. It's a love, the, the love bombs in the middle uh, in a relationship or after the beginning of the relationship, they're not full love bombs. They're just potential flashes. It's like a flat, oh, it's like a flashbang of potential. It goes off, you see it, your eye, you get blinded. It, it, you're like, look, flashbang. They throw the little flash, like how, how military people throw the little flashbang grenade that is bright, shining light just to blind you. That's what narcissists are doing when they try to keep you there. They just throw a little love bomb grenade. It's a flashbang that blinds you and shows potential, shows that potential again. The, the person in, you knew in the beginning, they're back. They're still in there. I knew you were still in there. So all I have to do is act like I'm going to leave or want to leave. And you'll show me the, you'll show me him again. You'll show me her again. You'll show me them again. All I got to do is act like I'm going to leave and you come back and you do this and you do that. You know what I mean? So that's how it goes right there, though. That's, that's literally how it goes in these situations. You be dealing with that. Like I said, when you're dealing with a narcissist or a tight person, that's, this, this is, I'm just telling you, I'm just, like the flashbang, love grenade, whatever you want to call it, they keep doing it. They're going to keep doing it as long as it works. They're going to keep doing it. They don't, they don't stop. Like, when are they going to stop? They don't. They won't. I wish I could give you a definitive answer when they're going to stop, but I cannot do that. I wish I could do that. Yeah, I, I guarantee you, I, I really, truly wish I could do it. But like I said, they're just flashing that potential at you because it works. Does the potential not work? Yes, it absolutely does. Well, those, those potential that they show you, they, that's what keeps a lot of people there. The potential to be a great person. The potential to treat them better than you've been. Robot resetting. Um, the potential to keep you there and to keep you, you know, say the potential to treat you good is there and you know it and you feel good. It's, it feels good in the moment. But it's, it's like, again, it's microwave. Just put it in the microwave, hit 30 seconds, and the, and the meal is done. This is not that crock pot. Like I said, that crock pot love that works. The microwave the microwave love works in short spurts. You know what I mean? When you're hungry, the microwave love works. When you're starving for love and a caring affection, the microwave love bomb works. But if you're not, if, if, you, uh, if you're controlling your standards and you control, you know what you want, crock pot love bombs or crock pot love is the only thing that works on you. You know what I mean? So as I tell people, you have to stand in your truth and just understand that narcissistic people, we are still self-serving people. So even when we're love bombing you, we're serving ourselves. We're not ready for you to leave yet. So we're selfishly, selfishly keeping you there. You're ready to go. We told you to leave. You it's like, okay, I'm done. I'm leaving. But we're selfishly keeping you here because we don't want to see with anybody else. And we're not ready for you to go because you leave. And I don't know what kind of ramifications it will have on my life or the person you deal with life. You might change that financial situation. They might have, they can't afford the house that they're living in. They can't, you know, they got big child support. They got, you know, whatever the situation is, you know, they got to find it. They got to get in the car they're on. They got, whatever the situation is, they're not ready for that situation to end. So sometimes you get, you're dealing with a narcissist or a type of person that is using you for what you have and they don't want you to go use it. They don't want you to go give it to somebody else. That's how it happens, y'all. That's the crux of it a lot of times. People don't want to hear that. It's like, leave. You saying that you're using that? Look, I'm just, look, I'll be trying to keep it hot with you. I'm trying to keep it hot and just give y'all the real, un, you know, the, the, give y'all the real advice and just tell you the perspective of a narcissist. Like, it's still, a love bomb is still self-serving to the narcissist, especially the ones in, the ones after the beginning, the second, third, fourth, fifth, twentieth love bomb, whatever they're doing to you, um, the little love pops, whatever they're doing to you, they're still serving the narcissist. That's why they're, they're not as grand as they used to be because, you know, the narcissist doesn't go all out for it. They do it. They, they seem like they're going all out because not, you're not used to it anymore. You know what I mean? 
So don't fall, watch out for the love bombs. Speaking of watch out for the love bombs, we have a song coming out here pretty soon called Love Bombs. And my cousin Reggie and uh, um, we got an artist, an artist who's also a survivor of narcissistic abuse. She'll be singing, oh my goodness, it's gonna be a beautiful song, y'all. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like and subscribe for more, and as always, let's assume this is out. Peace.